Hi guys! I swear to god I'm gonna put a compilation of all that shit. So I had gotten a, not a request, but someone had mentioned that they missed my mug talks. Um, so I thought I'd do one today. Uh, I had a, something else I really want to talk about that like everybody else talks about, but that's the sound of my mug on the coffee table. Like, everyone talks about this, but I feel like it's not something that's mentioned enough. As you've read from the title, down here, or this side, whatever. This video is about cosplay is not consent. So I've got my mug. My Uncle Iroh mug. Beautiful, beautiful. Delectable tea, or deadly poison. It's actually... Neither tea nor poison. It's like three day old sangria. Mm. <laughs> Tart. Okay. So, um, this is a touchy subject for everyone, but it's an important one. A lot of people feel like or at least I think that a lot of people will think this is blown out of proportion, but I feel like it's not touched on enough. Causeway is not consent is like a huge thing. And a lot of people don't realize how a lot of people, like a lot of cosplayers want to cosplay because they want to be in this group of people that make them feel like home. Like I know that when I go to Dragon Con, which is like my favorite convention and pretty much everyone's favorite convention. I feel like I'm surrounded by a bunch of fucking nerds that just love everything that I love and I feel like I'm at home. And I don't want to go to Dragon Con and then get like butt groped and catcalled because then I feel uncomfortable. And like if you wouldn't do that, if you're not if you're that, if you're that kind of person that you wouldn't do that on a normal basis like to someone standing on the street, why would you do it at a convention? See what I'm saying? Like, obviously, some people have serious social issues and just don't know what boundaries are. But if, I mean, if you're a normal person and you have some social skills, I feel like you can see where I'm coming from here. There's no reason for you to walk up to a person and touch them without asking. Like, obviously, cosplay is not, cons is not consent is a much more prevalent issue for women um, not only because women are, are seen more as sexual objects than men but also because women's cosplays are usually a lot more revealing and that is like one of the number one issues with cosplays not consent because people will try to turn it on its head and be like well you shouldn't dress up sexually and then that will happen to you and be like well a we're not specifically, so, okay, some of us are not dressing specifically sexually to get you off. We're doing it because the character just so happens to be drawn that way. Yeah, we could pick a more modest cosplay, but why? We want to be that character. Like, if I want to be freaking Red Sonya, I'm going to wear a chainmail bikini and a loincloth. That's because what, that's what she is. But I'm not gonna open my body up to your touching just because my boobs have this thin plate of metal over them, and that's it. That's not how that works. <sighs> yeah, I mean, if you wear a costume like that, you have to be ready for the people that don't have any social skills and that are gonna catcall you and try to touch you. But that doesn't mean you just sit there and let it happen. You be like, hey, get your hands off me, that's not okay and you need to put them in their place. Because nothing is ever gonna be done about this issue if we don't start to do something about it. Cosplay, the cosplay world and convention should be a safe place for people to share their interests in a common thing, cosplay. And like I said, if a cosplay is skimpy, it's most likely because the character has a skimpy costume. And that doesn't mean you get to touch people. That doesn't mean you get to catcall it. If you won't do it in a normal place, don't do it at a convention. 
it just baffles me that people are like that. I honestly think one of what the biggest issue with this not being changed with what people people stigma on cosplay is not consent are the women and men that get harassed and don't do anything about it. Yeah, I know it makes you uncomfortable and it might make you uncomfortable to talk about it after the fact, but you need to stand up for yourself. Because how they if no one ever tells them that they're doing something wrong, they're not gonna think it's wrong. They're gonna continue to do it and then it's still gonna be a problem for everyone. Yes. That's what I have to say. I, I think these mug talks are just turning into like weekly rants. <laughs> but eh. YouTube's full of that anyway, so. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please let me know what you think about this issue and also what other things you'd like to see me talk about or see me do. And like I said, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll be here every day. Okay, not every day. That's too much work. But sometimes. Alright, bye guys.